Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. We got a hot show for you today. Today's topic is Hurt by the Man You Shared Your Pain With. Part 2. Let's do it. Back to the show. Before I get started, I'd like to ask everyone that watches this video to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and the drop down menu that says all so that every time I upload new video content, you'll be notified. Also, like, share, and please leave a comment. Part two. Women, stop posting on these social media sites about you having a fiance of five years like everybody's supposed to congratulate you now i see a lot of people being uh congratulating you but i'm not going to congratulate you you living in a fornicating relationship god ain't clapping his hands so i'm not clapping my hands i'm not trying to be judgmental but uh ladies if a man is with you for five years and he still did, didn't marry you he gave you a ring to shut you up because mm -hmm. he knew that that was going to be uh a little extra to give him a little more time with you uh Stop, stop with all that uh, posting, all that stuff. You're still not married, and it, when it's all said and done, you're single, bottom line. So, Dr. Mayor, what do you think about that? Ooh. <laughs> so, I do believe you are single until you are married. You could have kids with them, you could buy a house with them, you could live with them for five years, but you are single until you are married. And um, you're right about that ring. They will put a ring on that finger just to shut you up and have you on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> Extended time. Right. But you know what? I read recently, there was some research done okay. that says that men know within six months if they want to marry you or not. Not that they will get married within six months, but they know when they meet you within six months if you are the woman that they want to be with or not. Because I'm, I, I don't know, I'm not a man. But when you meet women, you kind of put them in a, a play category or a stay category. Well, uh, I've never seen that research and never read it, but I absolutely agree. For me, when I meet a woman, I'm already sizing her up to see if she's marriage material because I'm seeking marriage. I'm not seeking seeking somebody to just play with. It's easy to find a play toy. I don't I don't want that. I've done that for too long. And so when I meet a woman, I know if she has uh, enough characteristics, enough pros for me. If her pros outweighs her cons, then I say she's a good candidate. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, of course, you still have to do your due diligence because some things may come out later on where it disqualifies a woman. But I absolutely agree with you. It don't take it. five years for you to realize no, that. No, I, I would, I would, I, <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I would never date a woman for you. I wouldn't date a woman for a year. Right. Uh, I, I wouldn't, you know, because the thing is, a lot of men who date women with uh, no good intentions on marrying them, they're dating them until somebody better comes along. Mm -hmm. That's how guys are. Uh, so not all guys, but a lot of guys do that. So do you remember at the top of the show, you asked me um, about me dating and if I ever had that heartbreak? And yes. I said, absolutely not. Okay. That's because I did not date anyone for more than six months. Okay. Within six months, if I realized this relationship ain't going nowhere, he's just stringing me along or I don't really kind of see him as someone I want to be with, I'm gone. I let it go. Why are we holding on so long until the next person comes along? So I, I like the word you said, uh, stringing you along. Why would you think a man would string you along? Because you let him. <laughs> because you let That's him. not the answer I was looking for. I was looking for a, a more detailed answer with a little bit more explanation. But bottom line, because you let him. A lot of things that happen, women, you allow it. Absolutely. I mean, if he didn't tie your arms up and uh, force you at gunpoint, you allowed him because you have some type of expectations that this guy is really going to be the right one. Why are women asking men, so what are we doing? How do you see me? 
Where are we going from here? Ask yourself that. See yourself going in this relationship. If you don't see yourself going anywhere, you break it off. Well, I just want him to break up with me if he don't want me. Hmm. You know he don't want you. Well, they, <laughs> they've gotten too emotionally invested to just drop him because they're holding out hope that mm, it mm, just mm. might work. It's it's not just emotionally invested. You know what they did? They gave him the yams. Well, yeah, they, they gave him the yams and really they got sex, soul tie. sex is a bonding mechanism that should be uh, reserved for husband and wife. But when you, uh, especially if it's good, then you don't want to let it go, especially if you have, prior to this guy, you've been single for 10 years and now you're used to getting orgasms, you're used to doing certain things. You don't want to go another 10 years and so you allow a lot of stuff that 20 years ago you wouldn't have allowed because right. you don't want to be alone and lonely. It's lonely being in that bedroom and nobody to cuddle with. I, I understand all that, but let's cuddle in marriage because that's what God wants us to do, cuddle right. in marriage. Uh, Dr. Mel, what advice would you give women who are suffering from insecurity and low self-esteem and those who don't know their God worth? I would say take some time to learn how to love yourself. Okay. Seek the word on what God says about you and who you are. Because if you have a low self-esteem, the worst thing you could do is get into a relationship. Because that person will be able to do so many things to you and you'll allow so many things. You'll stand for the foolishness just because you have low self-esteem and you suffer from insecurity. So get your self-esteem up. Get your confidence up before you get out there dating. All right. That's great advice. Great advice. Now... Are there any closing remarks you like to make to my female audience relating to this topic? Just take your time and unpack everything and just lay your heart on the line for these women because they're suffering and they're in need of sound Christian biblical therapy. And I believe that with what you've said already is helping some of them already, but they need healing for their spirits, their souls, and their bodies. So there's one thing that I definitely want to leave them with is um, stop playing wifey. Stop playing wifey for these men. I know you've been told, and this is a trick, and these words have been said, how will he know I'm a wife if I don't do all the wifely duties? Well, let me tell you this. Being a wife is not about what you do. It's not about me cooking and cleaning and chasing children around the house. He didn't marry me for that. He married me for the characteristics, the, the characteristics and the benefits that I bring to him. I know y'all hate, what do you bring to the table? But that's the question, what do you bring to the table? Are you good at conflict resol resolving conflict? Are you compassionate? He wants to know that when he has a hard day, that he has a soft place to land when he comes home. Wow. When the world has beaten him up and he's had everything come against him, he shouldn't have to go through hell with you at the house. So are you a soft place to land? Do you know how to speak to him in the tone, the timing, the tact, the temperament? Do you know when to just shut up and just smile and tell God thank you? Wow, that's <laughs> profound. That's profound there. Dr. Mel, what is your YouTube channel uh, so that my audience can go and check out your content? It is Dr. Melinda Harper, D-R, Melinda, M-E-L-I-N-D-A, Harper, H-A-R-P-E-R, -E and it's the same on Instagram and everywhere else. So that's your YouTube? Uh, yes, Dr. Page. Melinda Harper. Okay, gotcha. Now, before you leave, I'd like for you to sign Dr. Mel's signature on the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show banner right behind you okay now be careful not to knock it over it ain't that stable <laughs> <laughs> i got you all right all right thank you dr mill also before i close the show ladies and gents go to amazon and purchase a book or two by dr mill the book titles are as follows a prophet to her husband the secret to loving yourself, wife qualities. 
What do you bring to the table? All right. <laughs> also, uh, her most recently uh, released book, Wives in Waiting, 30-Day Journal. Yeah. I will list these book titles in the description section of this video. Now, in closing, here's my golden nugget. You always want to put yourself in an environment that will help facilitate your best chance to succeed. Well, Dr. Mel, I'd like to thank you for coming to the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show. And I hope that you come back anytime to speak on any topic that will be beneficial for everyone's greater good. Let's give Dr. Mel a round of applause. Thank Thanks for coming to the show. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.